So hello and <coughs> I would um, like to share about my work today. There is a lot of fear about um, about um, man's work in my area and I would like to share uh, what I do uh, uh, what's my work life like so uh, one thing I do is uh, this poker player thing like I I used to be only poker player in the past I did it uh, for four years or two years as full professional uh, and um, this is how it looks like. You open up a poker uh, table at the poker site and you try to win uh, money from other players by, uh, by outplaying them somehow. Mm, being a poker player with a better strategy. So this is what we are uh, trying to do and um, this is... Uh, it was once my only profession and it's it's a big, big part of my work life uh, today as well. Here, I think um, they are calling. They are here with worse hands. I think so, uh, and they might call with a flash to and uh, so a bit, uh, pretty big. I think I'm ahead, uh, but is it worth it uh, to risk the whole stack? Uh, I think it is. I think I'm so ahead, like, and it's worth uh, risking the whole stick. So I got a pretty nice. Uh, uh, it's like an example. It's like you had ace three as a weaker ace. It's like example. It's like ten cent tournament uh, with six players. Uh, but uh, you can see you can uh, outplay these uh, people with uh, strategy. It was incorrect. His call down was uh, weak. Uh, Weak uh, eight pair of aces. Uh, it was uh, uh, pretty big mi mistake. Pretty big mistake by him. Here he jams the pot, and uh, I had top pair, so and pretty good kicker. So and he is has just the middle pair. So now he hit the quad even and he gets it this time. But you can see I still outplayed him this time as well. Like uh, I had top pair, he pushed middle pair. I called with top pair. So I outplayed him and he got there, but this is up to the house. So this is uh, one uh, one uh, uh, part of my work and uh, I will show you this uh, for um, half an hour or I don't know how long does it and uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, I feel uh, comfortable here already. I've been doing this for years uh, and two years for a living or more. So, so I feel I I like it, uh, and I know uh, uh, where I where I stand uh, uh, compared to other professionals, compared to the field, compared to weak players. And uh, for me, it's uh, not a problem. Like that, the thing is, online poker is um, there's this um, border between. Um, gambling uh, or casino part where you what can you can just play as lottery like you, the house always has the edge you you always lose to the house because uh, it's like a lottery you you never uh, can win in the long term and uh, and then there's this poker where house takes a small percentage but if you outplay the others you can uh, you can win uh, more from them than house takes from you so you can end up uh, with um, uh, with winnings, with uh, money money winnings in the end. So so the so this somewhere between this um, uh, like uh, e-sports and uh, real sports. So it's somewhere between that. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, so it's like a strategy game, but uh, I play only online at the moment. I never played uh, as a professional uh, live poker, so I only have played online. So, so this is uh, like if you really do it as a work, uh, people don't get it here. Like this is why I also make this video. This is why I explain. People are afraid like about man's work anyway. But the uh, it's like a career uh, thing, like if you dedicate yourself to something like uh, 
For example, my father dedicated uh, himself uh, to being a scientist, and his father dedicated himself to being a scientist. So they are both scientists. And I dedicated myself once to to be this uh, online poker player uh, when I was 17. Uh, and I never uh, pretty much look back. I uh, I'm built a solid uh, career. Uh, uh, yeah. So it's like a sport. So this is what I do at the moment. Then I, after this online poker, I turned into yogi. I, I started to, to do yoga 24-7. Uh, in, so I became a full-time yogi. So I was away from this poker for... I went to India and I was a, away from poker for like... Three, three years or more. Uh, like I, from professional poker I was away nine years. But from poker I was completely away for many years. For five years. Uh, three or four years. And... Uh, and I was a full-time yogi, uh, doing yoga asanas and yoga and meditation and uh, going to India and visiting sacred places and uh, stuff like that. Um, visiting spiritual gatherings and... <coughs> but now I pulled the break from yoga and there's the other part of my work that I will show later. I hope it helps some, someone, I don't know if it does. So we're six minutes, so it's maybe not too heavy, gone, maybe not too long. So, so the other part of uh, my work is creating computer games. So, and uh, I don't create like 21 plus computer games. So this, if you can't get into this casino, if you are younger than 21, they have it somewhere written like, I don't know where, like at the beginning they say, if you are younger than 21 years old, you can't get into this casino even. So it's a new policy. In the old times it was 18 plus, but nowadays it's 21 plus. Uh, it was that bad in the old days that I could get in 17 years old even to a famous casino. So they, it wasn't restricted, but nowadays the market is restricted, it's controlled, they have uh, deals with governments, they have... Uh, licenses to operate in different countries so they need to be 21 plus but the games i make is like uh, 3 plus 7 plus 16 plus i don't make uh, adult games at the moment i don't make uh, like games with nudity with 18 plus i don't make that but, but the casino is even higher uh, like like uh, uh, it's uh, 21 plus so uh, if you are 18, uh, you can go to like what, uh, I don't know, <laughs> visit these uh, exhibitions with nudity, but you can't enter casino, right? Uh, so, I should have maybe called here, but now when I see the flop, but, but uh, so, so this is like uh, ad uh, adult gaming, like uh, 21 plus gaming. So, but the games that I make is um, up to 16 plus. Uh, uh, at the moment, the three plus and seven plus. Um, uh, so, so <coughs> it helps a lot to have a real experience in twenty-one plus gaming world for years. So, as a professional for two years or more, I once was. Uh, I I have this huge knowledge and confidence and impact uh, and lifestyle to give to this. Uh, lower age uh, gaming uh, community like this is maybe too loose but uh, it looks like this 100% uh, VPIP and stuff like that uh, yeah. well it's difficult to play this and uh, but, uh, yeah. what can you do like? it's a pretty good hand <laughs> so you now I get 1 to 4 with uh, open ender and the SD stacks are short, but uh, I get the odds. And well, you can take it, this tournament as fun. It's for 10 cents and it's for... Um, yeah. If he pushes, like, I'm having trouble like, uh, to, uh, to have the odds to call, but, but he just calls, so... Yeah, I didn't get the, the open in the straight row, and I'm behind against them, I think, so... Well. Well, if it falls, like, and I get 1 to 15, uh, I could find a call, but, uh, but uh, as it is 1 to 17, 
I think they have it uh, where is that is stupid hand like he had to open uh, yeah the so I will this is the first part of the video of showing my work and the, the later I will show also developing how I run my how I run my company I don't know is it is it working <laughs> is the microphone working how I run my company and the uh, how to actually sorry for the loud noise and how I actually I test the microphone I don't know if it works and uh, how I, I actually built uh, games uh, for living so yeah this uh, company is now almost five months old so it's much less experience uh, in that uh, area well uh, but there then I built these games uh, as a teenager a lot so I have some experience but but yeah uh, as a computer game player as oh, 21 plus gaming uh, only poker player professional I have like uh, two or more years experience and uh, this uh, game development business uh, I just started it's like for five months uh, only so yeah uh, I know it's a little bit boring for you this 21 plus gaming because none of you is here like none of you is doing this for a living or has never done this for a living but for me it's a uh, stable uh, stability it's a sport that makes you a better person uh, it's like how how can you get better and better out playing these people uh, so i'm sorry it, it takes a little bit long this tournament uh, it's like mm, it, 12 minutes already and i think it's average 40 minutes or something i don't know mm, yeah it doesn't say how much is average. At Poker Stars, it says like this tournament is average 40 minutes, but here it doesn't say that, but it doesn't last very long. It's less than an hour for sure. Uh, so, yeah, you need to finish uh, in, in second place to get the money. Second and first place get the money, and there are six players, so you need to become second uh, to get money, otherwise, you lose money. So, so it's, uh, it's very, very low stakes, but I enjoy it a lot. It's a good training. Well, well, maybe not good training because these people play every hand, but, but uh, something I get. So I hit uh, two pairs and this person looks like uh, he might, uh, oh, he doesn't, he might pay me, <laughs> he didn't. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this is a big part of my work, it once was and I'm planning a big comeback in this poker uh, for years for uh, in scale of tens of years I'm planning the comeback uh, and I'm working it is why I play so low also because I get it from ground up uh, this no limit also uh, I used to play a different slightly different format so so I'm planning a big uh, comeback and slowly slowly I'm building myself uh, to a to a great stability and this uh, game the business uh, that I will later show is uh, is like supporting this one and vice versa this is supporting the game the business also so it's co interconnected it's connected from so now I hit this um, yeah, maybe it's too big this for a big I don't know there's this big stack I, I don't wish him to continue but uh, it's nice to take a blind stone. I was hoping to get it in versus this short stacks. But this catastrophe if he starts to outplay me. But he doesn't look like he's very strong, but he has a big stack, right? <laughs> so like the, these three guys are already quite short, so I hope it doesn't last very long. So, so we can also go to this um, game development part. I know this signal I'm sending or this um, long one hour long uh, video messenger about my work i know it's boring for um, many of you it's too high too high level because uh, as a poker player these people are convinced that they need to be able to run a solo career that is a sad story but those who really can are incredibly amazing people so it's tough to get a solo career running for many reasons well, most people just don't love the amount of gaming you need to play. Like, if you run a solo career gaming, uh, like, y unless you're playing high stakes or mid stakes, you need to play, like, uh, three or four hours every day, and people don't wish that. <laughs> they wish to play less or... Uh, mm, 
so it's people don't love it so that's why they don't that's why they don't do these careers uh, the option would be to be a really good player and play higher but um, it's not easy to get there and uh, the problem with higher stakes is that you need to really select the uh, opponents because at higher stakes there are already really tough players moving uh, in the in the field and what happens if you face tough players you are losing money so <laughs> so you need to find the balance like for example here on this table at this 10 cent tournament with my strategy in the long run i'm absolutely crushing everybody like i have like a huge like 17 70 percent age I, I think because these are these people are from the casino part they're just having fun they're risking the least money with this this the lowest tournament possible uh i poker is offering it uh, the distance and tournaments like not many poker sites are offering this low so these people are just having fun they just uh, try to try to get lucky yeah so one of them is out now i'm still a chip leader there's this big stack and uh, there's very short stack also so i i i hope i get into into first two then i get uh, my money back at least and win some money uh, so yeah, this is a big, big, uh, big, uh, very big, uh, very, very bad players. Uh, I don't know how to how to mark them. Uh, like it's very, very bad players. So. Hmm. I mark them soon. The next time I see them, I. I can immediately recognize the bad players because at higher stakes there's not only bad players there are better players also but here you can see there's only these bad players look at that he has like four less than four big blinds and he raises half the stack and <laughs> so it's like incredibly bad players unless he has like aces or something but he still like well at these stakes uh, well he's probably not having aces anyway so it's a pretty bad play is a objective would be to push it all in and uh, get the um, clip to fold but now he's like three way with a pretty bad hand i think but he's taking it down uh, he got lucky on the flops so so he's winning even <coughs> so the thing is poker as you can see was like one time he pushed it with um, um with uh, middle pair and the flop, I hope he doesn't come around. Uh, middle pair and flop, and I uh, spot size bet and the gold top pair, and he still got lucky. So the thing is, poker is uh, even if you make a good play, you can still lose uh, because of uh, because other people uh, getting lucky. So here, uh, like I need to pay him off, I guess. So I got lucky this time. So. I think he could be bluffing on this flop uh, with this, and I get from one to four or better. Mm. So now it's a bubble situation. So eight, nine. So I'm a little bit tightening up. I think it's like if uh, two more people fall out, we're in the money, and these are short stakes. So I need to be careful. I don't want to fall out myself because I have huge cheap lead and i wish to i'm big favorite for the first place i would say but there's a big dangerous uh, big stack dangerous player like he's dangerous because he's big stack so what for example i don't want to lose a big pot against him so this i really like 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 no mm, yeah like he's like super tight so so but uh, yeah i need to pay him off right i guess i, I don't know <coughs> well, uh, he was so tight, so I made an incorrect play. Like he never raised, like so. But uh, but so I made the wrong play this time. He, he never raised, so. But it, it's just so normal. It's like super strong hand, so it's close. Like I could fall, fold, like. But uh, he raised the first time, like. But uh, he could still doing, but he's, he's doing it with like queen jacker or king queen. So my bad, like. Uh, but I was hoping to to get it hoping he was making a bad play but he was uh, he was uh, having a strong hand and uh, i misread this situation i should have been smarter because he never raises and first time he raises he of course he has strong hand but i was hoping to get the maximum from him so he got me he got his he got me with better raise. but i was uh, having pretty strong ace so 
Be a better against stronger players, it would be easy. Like if it he gets it in with ace tenders against my ace eight, uh, it would be not my fault even. It would be like a good play from my part. But here I should have read him better. Mm. Oh, I'm pushing. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's bubble against him, but uh, I hope he doesn't come along. So yeah, it's good to push. I'm still having a big stack. Uh, so yeah, it's not very very fun or, uh, for you probably, but this is what they do. This is uh, my work. Well, it used to be my work, and I'm making a comeback. So let's see how long does the video run already. 20 minutes, so I think uh, 10 minutes maximum more this poker thing. I think so, because the blinds are increasing pretty fast. 15 minutes maybe maximum. So let's say it's bubble situation. I have ace queen. And I do a fold here, like, but I think I still push. It. Like he could be calling. I think it's bad push too. I should fold, right? But I'm learning. I think it's a pretty bubble situation, but they still want... I don't know. I don't know. It's a pretty bad push. Because if he calls with better, I'm screwed. Like, So so I could maybe fault this even because it's a bubble situation. I don't know. But he, the thing is, if he calls with worse, he's out. Like, So, yeah. But he doesn't seem to, yeah. So I'm making mistakes. As you can see, I'm making small mistakes in the near bubble situation. I'm playing too loose, a little bit too loose. I could tighten up. But I'm in a gambling mode. I'm playing 10 cent that I don't care about. So I'm playing a little bit too loose. But I shouldn't make this bad decision. I should be still play a good, good poker. A little bit too loose from my part, this place. In my opinion. Yeah. I should be careful. I should just get to the second place or something and get the money. And I want to crush everybody with marginal hands. Uh, so I'm over, over uh, estimating myself or something. <coughs> so let's see. This player is putting his last chips in. So it's becoming a real bubble situation. Bubble means that the, the guy who falls out doesn't get the money and others get the money. So he probably follows, falls out, I think. Um, so it's gonna be the dangerous bubble situation. So he had the, he said what he, he fell out with what, um, with some pair of seven, so the bubble people hit the ace on the river. So let's say now this bubble and this guy is very short. So the objective is to become one or a second. Uh, we don't want to finish third, otherwise we lose our buy in even. I don't get any return. So here we don't do anything. It's a very silly idea to bluff here. Now everybody has the flash, right? Uh, I hope they don't bet it. So yeah. <coughs> He raised, he called, so it's moving in a good direction. They're putting a lot of, lot of uh, chips in. Oh, it doesn't anymore, but <coughs> the ideal would be that they, that they, um, that they bust themselves, like uh, between between themselves. So I raised this tree, uh, hoping to, uh, hoping to get some action. Uh, yeah, so I have a high chance of taking it down. I didn't, he got lucky in the river <laughs> with Jack then. So, yeah, yeah, I had huge advantage, like 80% but he still got... So now I'm in the bubble, is the worst, <laughs> worst position, so... So let's see if I get some money from him. Maybe he had a flash through, right? But I don't know. Like, oh no, oh no. Like, do I get bluffed here ever? I guess I don't, like... So if he bets, he has it. So, but he's, uh, he didn't bluff me. Like, this is a beautiful place for him to bluff me. But he didn't, like... And he has absolutely nothing, so he's... 
really really bad players so i might still get into the money i think i lost with aces versus jack and off so i had 80 percent uh, preflop or something so they could still pass between themselves uh, uh, which is the best that could happen for me i think at this point <laughs> Well, I, I now almost have the chip lead even, almost, because he didn't hit his flash and he didn't have a flash draw. Uh. No, so now we're all equal pretty much in chips. I could bet one or two, like what's, but what were the sensor calling, like? Uh, like what, which version is calling, like he called me with king nine there, but like is he calling with five eggs? Uh, he, he could like, uh, so, but I don't know, like I might value better a bit, I'm not that good. Uh, so I hope they passed them between themselves, would have hit their flash draw. <laughs> so, Mm. Well, so he had a uh, better pair of sevens. So I'm playing a bit tight here, uh, trying to get value if I have a good hand and hoping they pass between themselves and hoping I, I get to second place uh, at least. So now I have a middle pair again. And he's, uh, I've seen him giving up, so it's, uh, against these six out there, it's good to, good to, uh, so he got me, his, uh, he defeated me when I had aces. So here, uh, like, I don't wish to play it, so I play very, very tight here, so, uh, like, I don't want to lose here any chips. So. Yeah, again, you can see that I would have hit the flop, but, but um, They could pass themselves. Yeah. So I'm playing very, very careful, very tight. So here I don't even bluff this time. Maybe I can get to showdown. It's a bubble. It's the bubble, right? <laughs> so now I have pocket nines with. But let's push it, like, because it has, a, has such a huge edge against them. It has sixes, so let's say maybe I can manage to win this time. 95%, 100%. <coughs> so nines has huge edge against that range. So now I have a big stack to continue to heads up. Um, so the second place gets 14 cents and first place gets 36 cents. And we start with 10 cents. So. Uh, okay, do a push. Uh, first time here is. Uh, oh, okay, this is difficult. Like, let's see what he does. Uh, like, I might give up it. Uh, he probably has the easy. F I don't know. Like, it's not worth it, maybe. <coughs> here I play push. Ah, I get caught. Uh, it was better. So he probably going towards the first place, pretty fast pace. <coughs> There's not much I could do. I can, King Queen, I could have pushed preflop. Um, I think a correct play would have been with King Queen to push preflop. Um, so okay, anyway, at least we got to second place, and we have uh, some chance of, um, well, not much chance, but some chance of, of building it back up. But <coughs> we don't get any cards, unfortunately. Mm, so any good cards, we we don't have much. Uh, we have queen high, so we have thirty three percent. So we hit the ah, it's a straight. So we're, we're we're done with the tournament. <coughs> so we got four cents uh, from this tournament, and it was uh, like what. Uh, half an hour so but it's the lowest possible to limit so this is uh, one part of my work and the other part is actually cave development so how i run the the business uh, 
and how I create games for the business. So there's already home page. Um, home page uh, where I run this different um, different products and uh, services uh, and uh, yeah so developing community games and uh, from children's drawings and uh, stuff like that mm, so yeah small bit snacks in the poker maybe but and so this was the home page and this is the environment where I built these uh, games <coughs> so yeah I do these uh, two things for uh, living uh, so here in this uh, software I program these uh, computer games <coughs> it's, it's a bit slow because this is other software running maybe if I quit this software this one gets faster so so the best way to show you this I think is to show the actual gameplay because it does involve a little bit to uh, the gameplay hmm. So this is a, with the software we write this uh, computer games, the game maker software. And here, uh, this is uh, like the software already running that I built. So this is the software that I wrote uh, using children's drawings and my own imagination and creativity, making a platformer shooter. Uh, so, so this is uh, what it looks like. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, this is uh, like the current project, the current work uh, I do. So yeah, this is like um, on scale, uh, like I have done poker uh, way more and uh, this one a little bit less. But uh, yeah, I, when I was younger, uh, like teenager, I did this one way more. So I couldn't, I didn't uh, have the access to these higher games, uh, so this is like nostalgic, nostalgic childhood maybe for me, this game programmer, yeah. So uh, these posts are beautiful and this is what I do for the work and here is uh, where I run my business, like uh, make these plans for the business, where which market to choose, where to go, uh, yeah. like online note taking, uh, yeah. So yeah, this is it uh, from me and this uh, was my... Uh, Introduction to what work I do, thank you.